here. Welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness on this magnificent Monday here in Connecticut. Life's good, guys. Life's good. Hang on, I gotta warm up. <laughs> All I've done is ride my bike today. It was, uh, it still is cloudy and overcast, but it is not raining. So I got out the minute I could. Did about 20 miles and here we are. Okay, let me warm up and we'll talk about my thumbnail. Life's good. Let's see what we got. The first notes of the day. Bodes well. Doesn't it though? Life's good, guys. Life's good. Oh yeah, life's good. Doc, at 17, man, you're gonna love this. Now, as we talked, uh, first of all, this comes from, I believe, maybe I'm wrong, comes from a website by Dave Worden, Dave Verden, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. I believe he's a euphonium player. Um, so there's a lot of euphonium on there, if, if that's your, if that's your, uh, your given. Uh, but he loves Doc, and there's a lot of vintage Doc and all, some really cool stuff on there if you want to check it out. Uh, I don't even know the name of the, I think it's just Dave Worden. Dave Verden, W-E-R-D-E-N. Check it out. Anyway, um, Doc at 17. Now, as we talked, he was, uh, you know, the um, local prodigy in the Midwest. You know, all state and playing with the this band and all that solo with that community band and everything when he was twelve and all this sort of stuff. But he was on the road. He was sixteen, and I think it was Charlie Barnett was his first gig. But he went to Ted Fiorito and all that sort of stuff, and we know that. But this is at seventeen. Now, he is not as accomplished as uh, the finished product that we have been come to admire. But uh, and as Mel Broyles used to say, Ace. Doc wasn't always the double C guy that we hear nowadays. And you can see that at 17. But the tone is pure. The tone is brilliant. The tone is centered. He's obviously not playing a Bach, you know, seven, one C mouthpiece or something. It is beautiful, beautiful playing for anybody's age. But what I want you to listen to, and I've talked about this a lot with Doc, the pop. Guys, he had it when he was 17. That is why he was so successful. He talked about his, uh, his uh, this is very, very enlightening. He talked about his, um, his lessons with Benny Baker. And I don't doubt for a second, Benny Baker was the man when Doc was studying with him in New York, uh, teaching as well as playing, Philharmonic and Toscanini and all that sort of stuff. But he said that Benny Baker told him to tighten his corners and relax the middle. God bless Doc, far be it from me to contradict Doc. I don't think that's what he was doing. I think his, he practiced for hours to get those corners relaxed. I think that's what he was trying to do because he was probably stiff as a board after all that playing in the morning with tight corners. But you listen to the pop, not only on his articulations, guys, but we talked about this phenomenon that it all phenomenon that it all, almost sounds like his notes are popping in slurred runs. It's there at 17, which means one thing and one thing only. His tongue was in the right place. 
And if your tongue is in the right place, either through the lips or the tip directly behind the teeth and push forward. One of those two. If your tongue is forward, guys, you can only tighten your corners so much. You just can. We've done this before. Do it with me now. Don't even spit buzz. Press the tongue against the bottom lip firmly. Then try to tighten your corners. It's close to impossible. Now, along with all those which you're about to hear, guys, his solo of choice when he was a little prodigy was Carnival of Venice. And he sounded equally as good as Stager's. I've done that on the video too. And if you want to just email Doc Severinsen's Carnival of Venice, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. Fast, articulate, articulated, popping, clean, great. Doc Schutzer would be thrilled to have one like that. His tongue was in the right place. So as again, Benny Baker and all that, and I don't doubt for a minute that he tried to tighten his corners and all that. He could only tighten them so much if that tongue was in the right place. Very, very enlightening. And I think that is the secret to Doc. We talked about is his chops right or is it not? Again, I don't think they were as tight, the corners were as tight as you think about. And if he is trying to relax the middle, which Benny Baker said, you can't have it both ways. You really can't. It's very hard. It's very hard. And if the tongue's in the right place, as I said seven straight times, you can only get so tight. And I think that, from 17 years old, is the reason Doc could put in the multiple hours and just get better and better and better and not wipe himself out because the tongue was in the right place. All right? All right. Check it out and enjoy. Like your comments. Oh, oh, oh.